It's a brand new day, a brand new week, and a brand new life. Thanks be to God. Hi, my name is Brother Pio, and Merry Christmas! Have you completed the Misa di Gallio? Allow me to share with you a glimpse of one of the dawn masses that I attended. Before the start of each Mass, the choir would usually sing some Christmas carols as the parishioners arrive. This day, I was seated near the entrance, which is why I could see people as they come in. Suddenly, a gentleman came in. He smiled and nodded at me, and I thought, do I know this guy? Perhaps I've met him at a feast. A few minutes later, a lady came in. She also smiled and nodded at me, and I thought, have I met her somewhere? Or maybe she recognized me from recollection. Siguro si Katnako. <laughs> but the shock of my life came when another lady followed her. But instead of smiling and nodding, she bowed down and made the sign of the cross. And I thought, oh Lord, do I have a halo on my head? <laughs> but as I look around, I realized that there was this large crucifix behind me. It wasn't about me. Assuming lang ako. It was about Jesus. My friends, why am I sharing this with you? I'm sharing this with you because many times we are also tempted to be assuming, especially during Christmas. We forget that it is not about us, which is why we complain a lot. We complain about the food, the traffic. We complain about the noisy children. We even complain about the gifts, those that we receive or not receive. We also complain of how long the homily of the priest is. <laughs> On the other hand, there's also that temptation not to celebrate Christmas for one reason or another. Now, I'm not talking about a lavish celebration. I'm talking about a simple one, commemorating Christmas with a holy mass and a simple meal with our loved ones to thank God for the gift of Jesus. Perhaps the reason that is stopping you from celebrating Christmas is financial constraints, or maybe a failing health, or perhaps some broken relationships. My friends, this year has been a tough one for my family, for we lost both Mama and Papa in a span of eight months. And as I enter Christmas, which is my favorite time of the year, I am reminded that I could no longer taste the best biko in the world, which is cooked by my Mama. I'm also reminded that I could no longer see nor enjoy the most beautiful parol, which is created by my Papa. But as I dug deeper and reflected, I realized that these are not reasons enough for me to stop celebrating Christmas. For Christmas is not just about them nor their absence. Christmas is not just about me nor my feelings. Don't get me wrong, our feelings are real and we should acknowledge them. And as we say at the feast, feel your feelings but follow your faith. Which is why we should celebrate Christmas for it is about Jesus. And it's also because of Christmas that I could find hope in faith that our loved ones who pass away will enter the kingdom of heaven. Thanks be to Jesus. My friends, in the Christmas story, most of the characters know their roles, from St. John the Baptist to Joseph and Mary to the shepherds to the three wise men and even the angels. They knew that they were just second stringers, that Jesus was the star. But there was a character who only thought about himself, his ego, his fears, his dreams, his plans. And that was Herod, which is why he acted differently from the others. Friends, may we emulate the other characters and not Herod and focus on Jesus. We can celebrate Christmas even without money. We can even celebrate Christmas even with a failing health. For the only thing that we need to celebrate Christmas is Christ himself and Jesus is enough. Can we pray together? In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Loving Father, we praise and thank you for the gift of Christmas, for the gift of Jesus whom you sent to us out of your big love for us. Lord Jesus, as we celebrate your birthday, 
we offer ourselves as a gift to you. Lord, transform us to be like you so we may live in accordance to your will, glorifying the Father and the Holy Spirit with you and blessing others with the love that you have given us. All this we pray in your mighty name, Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I pray that you will have a blessed Christmas celebrating Jesus in our hearts. Take care and see you on the next Repulections.